Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Together with Warly. We are on the Jazzy Endless dedicated server today. It is day 2631. <laughs> Probably the longest running uh, iteration of the server we've had so far. And uh, that's pretty cool. It's nice that the server hasn't been griefed till this point. But uh, if you are watching this, it is Friday, and that means the world, this world is probably up in flames. That is because we are resetting for the live stream on Saturday. And I'm looking forward to starting a new world. I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing for quite a bit on, on Saturday in the new world. But what I wanted to do today was do a little base tour. Or actually, all of the bases. All of the bases. And since we're here, we might as well start off with my base. This is my base. I played for 192 days. Less than I would have hoped to spend, but it was it was good. I was working on some other projects while I was uh, yeah, while I was neglecting my own server. But I was happy. I, I I liked this idea that we kind of started in one of the live streams, which was doing sort of a tiled layout for a base, which I was eventually going to fill up with lots of other stuff. See, we got a berry bush here, we've got a, we've got a grass gecko pen in here. And I'm not sure that I did a ton else. Yeah, I just kind of set up a base of operations with uh, some marble, and a couple basic structures, my cooking station, and all of the farms. I built, I want to say 20 farms? Yes, Warly, you need lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of farms. But let's get to it. Let's uh, let's check out all the bases around here. And I know some players have been on for many, many days. I want to start off with the cave base, which is Tina Tenabas. Tina Tembas, I will not I will never pronounce that correctly. But he has quite an impressive base down below, so let's go check that out right now. Oh by the way, uh, so the, the settings for this for this world were Wildfire is set to rare, disease turned off, as per usual. And Volt Goat set to more, just so that we could uh, mess with Warly and make lots of Volt Goat Shofa. But you end up with, I mean, as with any, as with any preset that you set to more, you end up getting a lot more than the default. Oh, hello, Rock Lobsters. Where are we? We're crap. We're not even close. Not even close. Oh yeah, we are. We are. Okay, I will walk there then. I'll walk over there. The mods we had, we had some, we had a couple new mods this time around. We had. Two, ooh, uh, my throat, my throat, I will tell you about that momentarily, <laughs> but the two, we, yeah, we had two turf mods, we had the Hamlet turfs and the Shipwreck turfs, which got a bit of mixed reception. Some people like the options, and you could always opt to just not use them, but it did, it did end up varying the turfs considerably in the world, so a lot of people didn't like them for totally understandable reasons. I liked building with them, uh, particularly the Hamlet turfs, because, yeah, Stone Road turf is absolutely amazing turf. And let's try and dodge the minerals. Okay, I can tell you about my throat now, since it will be very obvious that something's going on with me. It is allergy season. Evidence would suggest that it is allergy season in New York, and ouch. And ouch. Dang, the moleworms have taken over this base, but it is a beautiful base. This is T-Net's base. There's gotta be a sign around here, yeah. Yeah, hardly a camp at this point, bro. You've got everything. You've got everything you would possibly need here. Look at all these friggin' farms! Oh my goodness. I don't even think he was playing as Warly. I think he was playing as Wickerbottom. And over here... <laughs> you got the Celestial Portal. Oh, you made the Celestial Portal down here? That is a lot of mole worms. But I think he was using this to farm bone shards by because it's an endless server. You can die and you can die and respawn yourself out of that celestial portal as many times as you want. Oh, interesting! The cave turf is actually lower dominance than the stone road turf, which I figured would be the most dominant because it is in single player. It's a bit laggy around here because of these dudes. But this was, looks like a lure plant farm. Very, very impressive farm. As always, as I've come to expect from Mr. T-Nut. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, there were two things I learned when I moved to New York. The first, wh wait a minute, you got masks going on over here? Oh, cool. I like it. I like it. I love that you can build masks uh, off of boats. 
makes for some interesting aesthetic designs. But okay, so there's two things I learned about uh, about seasons when I moved to New York. The first was that humidity is a lot more than just an indicator of whether or not it's raining. Whew! I can feel my voice going. All right, whose base is this? Let's see. Oh, an, uh, a T-net extension. Oh, I didn't know you could grill them. I guess you can grow them in the in the ocean now. That's pretty cool. All right, let's check out. Uh, let's check out this desert. Looks like we got some. We got some deserts over here. Oh, we got some bases over here. So yeah, the first thing I learned about was humidity, and that is that is a killer. I hate humidity so much. And having grown up in an arid environment, I never knew how bad it could get. But it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But the other thing that I very quickly learned about was allergies. <coughs> I thought you only had allergies if you were allergic to something like food or animals. Turns out you could be really allergic to trees. Certain types of trees. There's a pig going after the geckos. Y'all can have your fun out there. But yeah, tree allergies kind of hit everyone. Around the end of summer, all the trees let go of their pollen and it is... It can be really disastrous on your on your lungs and on your nose. I'm not as stuffy anymore, but I am so congested. It is ridiculous. This looks like this looks like it would have been a Krampus farm. Cool. Nice little compact Krampus farm. I wonder if uh, somebody set up there we had a Krampus farm on the lunar island in the last world. That was amazing. It was like it was it was really nice. I will avoid dragonfly for now. No. 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 We still got the tentacles. Yeah, tentacles right over there. Sweet. Oh, yeah, and there's a base over here. Let's go check out the base. Okay, I believe this is Frosty's base. Completely covered in scaled turf, which I would expect from a base that's so close to Dragonfly. Pretty nice. Ooh, you, you got two safes. Look at you. Look at you with your bad self. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's see if we can, let's see if we can hop on over to another base real quick. Okay, I believe this is Pumpkin's base. And you guys are sleeping off that werepig infestation. Cool, looks like, uh... Well, it's nice to have werepigs, that's for sure. And sandy turf is nice for preventing lure plants from spawning. Cool. Alright, who's next? Who's next? Alright, I'm actually going to turn on god mode and give myself a little bit of speed boost. I don't plan on playing... On the server right now. I'm just trying to showcase all of the lovely bases. Now we have a base around here that has been burnt. So I'm trying to find it. Was it over here, possibly? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Let's see, whose base was this? I believe Flantastic had a base around here that uh, unfortunately burnt down. Rip base. Yeah, wild wildfires were still a thing, albeit. Not quite as, not quite as, uh, as over, overpowered. Let's see, whose base is this? Huh. It looks like, we, nobody knows whose base this was, but it is now Flantastic's base. It's nice when you get these set pieces with the, with the turf already kind of laid out. And you can just kind of turf around one of these statues. I like that. It's a good look for a base. Alright, who do we got next? And I'm guessing this is a space for fighting... Shadow chess pieces, yep. You got the shadow chess pieces all loaded up and ready to go for fighting on new moons. Awesome. Oh, oh, and here's Bee Queen. Excellent. With many, many tentacles. Many tentacles and many tentacle spikes. Cool. It's so nice when you get a when you get a wicker bottom to set up set up uh, a tentacle spot for farming Bee Queen. Just makes the whole process a lot easier, considering how how tricky Bee Queen can be to fight, and how useful bundling wraps are. It is, uh, it's useful. It's very useful to have. Alright, who's next? Alright, we got a base over here. Pedrito and Botanico's base. It's like got a little bit of marble set up, and some crock pots, some chests, lots of scale chests, and... Oh, you're storing turf on the boat. Good as place as any. I imagine boats are lure plant proof, so maybe that's why... Maybe that's why they figured they'd do that. That's cool. Very cool. And a little tooth traps with these anemones set up. Oh. And it is time. It is time for hounds. I'm just going to hop down. I'm going to hop down into this cave and uh, and bypass the hounds for now. 
call me cheaty. I just don't want to deal with them. Oh, I almost missed this one. I believe this is Pinky's base. I don't see a sign, but yeah, I think this is what Pinky was was going for. Yeah, I like I like the meadow turf. I know it's kind of a it's kind of a limey green, but I think it looks nice. And there aren't a lot of uh, there aren't a lot of native turfs in DST that pop out like that. What do we got over this way? Oh yeah, that's uh, more of the same. Let's see. And now I believe we are coming up to. Oh no, we haven't seen this yet. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, this is Gilbert's kitchen, cook uh, like like restaurant. Oh man, this looks great. Great job, man. Oh, these tables with chairs. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this is how you get creative and don't starve. This is, oh man, this is so great. And I love, I love you. You got a maze to get to places. Looks like Gilbert is going, was uh, trying to make, have all of Warley's many variety of foods. Take a rope. <laughs> oh, is this is like a, oh, I got to follow the instructions. Okay, take a rope. Yes, I'm, I'm imagining this is for... Oh, I see. Take a look at the menu. Oh, this is the menu, okay. I want... I want... I want... Mokeka. And then I unwrap the meal you want, rebundle the other dishes quickly. How many you got cooked up? That's great. This is so creative, I love it. And you know, it takes... It takes a, uh, a fair amount of trust on a server to set up something like this and just know that people are not going to intentionally mess with your stuff. Choose your seasoning. Oh, I was supposed to season it. Oopsies. Enjoy your meal in the dining hall. And I was supposed to eat it here. I jumped the gun. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Monsieur. Man. Great design and implementation. Very impressed. Very impressed with all of this. Well done, sir. Alright, moving on. Alright. This was part of my base, and there was a remnant of another base around here that got burnt, but I'm not seeing it at the moment. Oh, two traps. Uh, it's funny, with all the two traps I set up there, I ended up running to the oasis most of the time for hound protection because there are so many. There are so many tooth traps in the oasis. Let me show you. Oh, you bastard, you ate my crops. Yeah, I base there there's like two moose goose spawners in this uh in that biome, so. Yeah, probably not the best choice of location, but we may do with it. We just had to watch the mosslings when they spawned because they will eat crops straight out of the farm, which is rather annoying. All right, now we're getting into the oasis, and yeah, that should be that should be enough tooth traps. If I I I, I would say that's probably enough to combat any size hound wave in the game. I started working on the area for antlion antlion spawns. Oh, looks like you guys were. Farming a few glass spikes, that's pretty cool. Yeah, most of this was, most of the turf in the in the walls were me. Never got around to finishing it, unfortunately. I was going to decorate it with trinkets and stuff, but we are getting into the Oasis base, and this is, yeah, this is, this, this has had some, some love poured in over here. Lots of scaled chests, lots of fun stuff. Is that a glow cap? Yep. And a little boat over to this side. I don't believe there's anything over here, just spiders. It's a cool way to access the spiders quickly and not have to worry about them wandering into your base. And this little beach area with, with chairs and war saddles and, and even toys to play in the water. Another very creative, creative thing. And all of this area has been re-turfed with cultivated turf. Hello, koala. Oh, this is cool. I like, oh yeah, I like, I like the look of surrounding, surrounding builds with trees. Makes it look a lot, a lot less medieval. It's too bad that you can't really see as well with the with the trees, but who cares? Who freaking cares? This looks awesome. This looks awesome. And this these pig houses have definitely burned down more than once. <laughs> and we got, oh yeah, the arrays of... There's two of them, right? Yeah. Two arrays of farms surrounding a flingomatic, which can be very useful in summer. I love it. I You know there's a mod that can that will let you rotate the camera like... Half of 45 degrees, so you can actually place them going this way and that way and that way and that way, and it actually looks like a like a circle. When all said done, all right, yeah, well done on the Oasis base. I believe that was Vipleme and Latrumi and Gilbert. Yes, well done, gents. Well, friggin' done. Oh, I didn't even see this stuff over here. 
You know it's a long running server when you when you decorate your mobs with Thulacite gear. Awesome. Alright, let's head to the other bases. I appreciate when you guys build boats to connect parts of land that are close together. For easy access, see that would take that would take a lot longer to traverse, but yes. Because of your due diligence, it is much more convenient. Alright, we are heading into What biome is this? It's like a rocky biome. I know there's a base around here. Alright, I think we're getting into Tokyo's base, and this is oh right, this is the <laughs> my little my little reverse fan art action. Ooh. I think we gotta view this one. We gotta view this one in the daytime. I think this one's gonna be a doozy. Hang tight real quick. All right, let's see what we got. Lovely map heave. Oh, ho! Oh, I got gotcha. you. Wow. Wow. You can tell when someone really plans out their base. Wow. And the variety of the variety of crops and stuff placed. It's a really nice touch. You got your hats. You got your. Got your chest area. Sweet. Oh man, this looks beautiful. See, this is why I want Stone Road Turf, because it, it boxes in other turfs so nicely. Did I see... Let's see, what we got over here? Oh, you bastard! You got that Alchemy Engine skin! I want it. I want it so bad. Oh, it looks like more chests down here, surrounded by a glow cap. See, this is just, this is just good design. This is just very, very good design. Alright, what do we got in here? I'm guessing that's the bridge to the Lunar Island, which we will get to right after this. Wow. This is just, yeah, this is just good base building. This is just solid base building right here. Very impressive. Very impressive. Now, before we head out to the Lunar Island, it uh, looks like there are a couple other bases to check out. So I'm going to check out this one over here. I believe that is ZTWs. So let's go take a look right now. All right, I believe this is the way. Long road. Better lead to something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. Cool. Twiggy trees, stone fruit bushes. Basically everything you might ever need. I'm guessing these farms got saved by the Flingo when disaster struck. You got a bee farm going? Yes. Yes. Yes, bro, yes. Okay, I'm gonna follow that road in a sec. Let's just check up here. Oh, we got a couple more a couple more things to see. What's over here? Oh, an entrance. Uh that bunny hutch will that bunny will bite bats when they come out. Oh, that's a that's a cool uh Yeah, I've never seen a design like that. For keeping the bunny in and for keeping keeping the bunny away from the player at the same time. So if you're entering with meat, no worries. Now the bats are looks like the bats are kind of Knocking the biting the wall, so that's kind of a thing. Do the bats also bite fences? Because I see if the if they're like the bats in Hamlet, they don't. Someone can tell me in the comments. Well, that looks really nice. Uh, let me just check to make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, there's one more spot that's marked. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. I don't want to miss a thing. Catapults on the boat. What's up here? Spiders. You claim the spiders is your own. Fair enough. All right. Anything else? No, I think that's it for the mainland. Let's head over to the Lunar Island. See what we got over there. I actually haven't been to the Lunar Island yet, so it'll be interesting to see. I know we got at least one base, maybe two. Oh, this is a new thing. I've never really noticed this before. If you put beach turf next to the water, it kind of bleeds out sand into the water. That's a nice little look. It kind of look it almost looks glowy. Like a glowy turf. Be cool if it glowed in the dark, but that would be a little overpowered. All right. So I got to run back through Tokyo's base to get to the bridge over to the lunar island. Boop, doop, zip, zip. All right. And we are enlightened completely. Uh just so I don't get harassed. See set Sanity. Does that work? Yeah. Great. Whoa, and I'm like... I'm pixelated. What the heck happened? Is it just the... 
It's everything. That's a weird thing. Alright, yeah, I actually haven't mapped out any of the lunar island. So let's see where the... Well, there's a... Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a deserter over there. Let's go check that out. Okay, it looks like just a bare-bones base set up for... For basic things, probably... We're probably just farming this area as much as we could. Hello, spiders! You creepy undead spiders. See, there's more island over here. I think... S I, I just want to see where the where the statue is. See what got set up over there. Did I miss the statue? Oh, no, it's over here. It's over here. Is it just... I think it's just the statue. Okay. And then the base nearby. Okay, cool! I believe that is it for the bases. I do not have a spare steel wool, unfortunately. The only one I ever had I used for my iron safe. So in the next uh in the next iteration of this world, I'm going to turn wildfires back off completely because we clearly have a lot of people interested in basing. So I want to make sure they can base anywhere and not worry about wildfires burning everything while they're logged off. And I'm going to turn volt coats back down to default because yeah, I don't want them I don't want them taking over the world. And I'm going to take off the Shipwrecked mod, but I'm going to keep the Hamlet Turf mod because I, I love me that Stone Road Turf, and I think everyone else does too. Anyways, we will be live streaming tomorrow. If you're watching this Friday, we will be live streaming for most of the day tomorrow, Saturday. And we hope you can join us. And uh, again, a big thank you to everyone who puts in so much time and care on this server. You guys really make everything look beautiful. Thank you for thank you for being a part of this strange social project with me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next world and let it burn. Let this one burn to the ground so we can build from the ashes. Anyways, hope you are enjoying all the DST vids and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>